There has been a time when you've asked, am I pretty? And love, what a pity, pretty is unworthy of you. Look into the mirror. It doesn't capture who you are insofar as you, the adventurer, achiever, and creator, or the initiator as you debate her or him, that demonic voice inside your head asking, why am I big or hairy? with curves. I want to be smaller, taller. Don't I deserve to be skinny? You are not a number to be approved or a project to be improved. You are a power and a brain. You are your own domain. You belong to yourself. Your body is your own. Treat it gently like gold, not a stone being thrown madly in directions through angles of reflection. Take thin out of your vocabulary. Good and bad, too. Adopt this new strategy. Emit self-love, acceptance, and you. I want to hear you say, I love my body. I am proud of what it holds. I love my skin and the way it molds and unfolds my true inner beauty. There is nothing more rare nor beautiful nor fair than a person who is unapologetically there in their true, imperfect form. Embrace your diversity. Every shape and size is aesthetic. In form, there's no adversity. Your body is poetic. Think, if we all woke up tomorrow and said, I love me for who I am, industries would go out of business and body image wouldn't be so vicious. The conversations about our bodies began outside ourselves. It is their method to control, define, and contain us. We are description, detail, analyzations to them ascertained and ascribed to objectification. Thinness is obedience, a potent political downer. Don't let it make you quietly mad. Encounter your emotions. They cannot be disputed. And we each have a voice that cannot be muted. Talk about the things you love and get rid of. He, she won't like me because I do not embody the image in the ads or on the boards. They'll like you for your mind and the passion you put forth. Your body is an instrument, not an ornament strung. Play it sweetly, play it well, and you'll never go unsung.